welcome to the American Academy of Grief Counseling's videogram on the loss of grandparents. And we've done within this series different types of losses that we experience in life from our parents, maybe to a sibling. And now what we want to address is the loss of a grandparent. And this type of loss is sometimes one of the very first types of close losses that an individual faces in life. So it's usually earlier in life for, for most individuals who lose a grandparent, maybe in their teens, or in their 20s. So it's a, an original experience when it comes to probably losing someone that's a little bit closer to heart. It's not a great grandparent. It's not necessarily an individual who is a great aunt or uncle or someone that we probably are not as close to. Most grandparents are pretty close to. But again, the loss itself really varies from family to family. How close are the grandparents to the actual grandchildren? So the loss will also vary according to the bond itself. In addition to this, the loss can also vary in regards to the age of the person. Some individuals might never get to know their grandparents, so they don't even experience the loss. But as an individual gets older and is able to have a stronger bond with their particular grandparent, it can become worse. Uh, some individuals might even be raised by their grandparents. And when this occurs, it's almost like literally losing a parent itself. So these are all things that are very subjective in nature to the particular loss because some families a grandparent plays a more central role others maybe a grandparent lives far away from home also in examining this you have to look at the nature of the death itself uh, did the grandparent die a happy death late in age or was the grandparent killed maybe in an auto accident suddenly so anytime you start adding a sudden death to the equation, then you can really find po potential for complications in grief itself. The nature of the loss also takes effect upon the entire family structure uh, in regards to the hierarchy of the family. Uh, grandparents usually hold a very high position within family structures, keeping all of the uh, aunts and uncles and grandchildren in place. And uh, usually for many families, they are a central location for holidays. So when a grandparent passes away, these things can be altered. So let's take a look at these three things itself, how it affects the the grandchildren, how it affects the children themselves, uh, the parents of the children, and then how it affects the entirety of the family structure. So if we're looking at a situation when the grandchildren are experiencing this loss for the first time, it's important for parents, although grieving themselves, to be able to help their children understand the loss and how uh, it affects the family. So many children will become very confused, saddened by the fact that grandpa or grandma are no longer alive. And this is a lesson that they need to learn about life and death. So parents will be able to better instruct the children about the loss of their grandparent and hopefully allow them to partake within the grieving rituals within the family, by going to the funeral, by be, being able to say goodbye. Obviously, then throughout the next months, uh, it's very important for the uh, parents to monitor their children, to see how they're doing, how they're progressing. Children express themselves a lot through art and play through their grieving, and their grieving can be very intermittent. Uh, and they may play and not think anything of it and then maybe be sad later at night. So parents want to watch the children who have just lost their 
grandparent over the few months to make sure that they're mourning properly, that they're allowed to express their sadness, to be involved in it. And also importantly, for them to see their own parents grieve. Many times bad grieving habits are passed on to children because parents might try to hold back their emotion. They might try to hide their emotion. So it's extremely important to teach good grieving habits. In regards to adult grandchildren, uh, the loss will be twofold, obviously. But what we have to realize is that as adults, the parents uh, of uh, of the, the grandparent uh, of the the parents of the grandchildren are in themselves going through the loss of their parents, which is a whole nother video that we've done. So how can adult children, how can adult children help their parents? And that's something I think adult children can play a big role in by comforting them, by being there for them, to going over and checking on their parents and talking to them about the loss of their parents, how it affects them, but also how they feel about grandma and grandpa. In many ways, dynamics are going to change as well, because now the, their parents might begin to feel a higher level of responsibility within the family. So adult children can play a excellent role in helping their own parents overcome this particular loss. And by being together, and by being reciprocal uh, uh, conduits of love and compassion for each other, for the loss of their parents and for the loss of their grandparent, the two can come together and, and become helpful. They can become grieving partners in some ways and understanding this particular loss itself. Now, as we mentioned earlier, in the video, there are going to be changes in the family dynamics. Stability and change in tradition will occur. If Sunday dinner was always at grandma's house, this is not going to occur anymore. It is going to take times to get used to this new dynamic. Where is Sunday dinner going to be now? Also, the rise of new patriarchs and matriarchs within the family. Without grandpa and grandma, Who's going to take the lead role in the family? Who's going to be the cement that keeps the family together? So you're going to have many siblings who might not be around as much if it wasn't for grandma and grandpa. And so these particular aunts and uncles and their families start to make their own family cells and they start to drift away from the other family members. So what was once we see each other every Sunday or we see each other at least during major holidays starts to die down and it becomes just to the result of we're now we're just funeral family. We only see each other when there is a funeral. And this is something that does break down in many families when the grandparents pass away. Uh, they were the cement to this family. And this can be a huge secondary loss for some siblings and grandchildren who once really felt a camarader, uh, camaraderie with other family members that no longer exists because grandma and grandpa is no longer there. So there's a whole host of secondary losses, family stability, change in tradition, and change in roles of family members when this occurs. And some will suffer more than others as a result of this particular type of loss. So what comes down to is grandparents are a uh, fundamental part of our development. Uh, for many, they, they are our parents. Uh, if some of you may not have had parents that were as close in your life, or they were that package of fun that you would have on the weekends when your parents needed that special time away. So it is, uh, I think, uh, a learning process for some that occurs earlier in life or later in life. And it is also a huge loss on the entire family unit.
not just the grandchildren, but uh, you, the parents themselves, uh, who are sons and daughters of the grandparents, as well as the communal relationship between aunts, uncles, and cousins in that extended family structure. If you'd like to learn more about grief counseling, the American Academy of Grief Counseling offers a grief counseling certification. Our link is there as well as our number at 330-652-7776. You can also email us at info at AIHCP.org. I'd like to thank you uh, for listening and have a good day.